every year, of course, we know the global elite meet in Davos, Switzerland. Oh, so charming there to promote various globalist agendas at the World Economic Forum. Now, what many Americans do not know is that the U.S. government spends millions in taxpayer funds on the WEF. Mm. Now, a group of House Republicans want that to end and are introducing legislation that would block the State Department, USAID, and other federal agencies from giving taxpayer money to the World Economic Forum. I don't know. Makes sense to me. Your thoughts on the bill. Why in the world are the American people sending money to the high flyers that go to Davos like the World Economic Forum? I mean, there's just no reason for that. But you, uh, it really highlights how we spend money in so many different ways here in the United States on organizations like that. And I kind of uh, compare the WEF is a little bit like the United Nations, and we see more stories coming out of the United Nations. I think about the International Organization for Migration, the people that have industrialized and weaponized illegal immigration down in Panama, sending people to the United States. There's so many different ways in which we are giving people like that money through the United Nations and other, um, the State Department, other organizations. It needs to stop. Yeah, very well said. Actually, what you just said there also just makes me think of all of the funding that we've been giving to UNRWA, of course, finding out that yes. there are accusations that several of those members actually were part of the Hamas tax attacks on Israel. So we appreciate everything you're doing, Congressman Tom Tiffany. Thanks for being with us.